Welcome back everyone, I'm Craven, and this is a Union Chronicles Rising. And just like so many episodes before, we're starting it in the Great Forest, because we have two quests in this area that we need to complete. So, if you have a quick look at it, one of them is go get my treasure chest for Hogan, so we can get some rewards for our stamps, and fetch me some furs, get an Emily pelt in the Great Forest. So, where are these? I have no idea. A chest can be anywhere. Pelts, however, I think they will be in the forest directly. So let's uh, go stroll through that part first and see if we can find it. The enemies by now are no longer a challenge, of course. So we're just going to make some quick way to it. And yes, I am leaving items on the floor because if I don't, and by the end of uh, this location I would already be at 50 items and we'll be able to collect anything more so I want to be careful about that and like I said before many times before I really hope there's gonna be a store that helps us enhance that bag the only thing I need to be careful for is if I see a purple item being dropped we definitely need to get it because it's rare Yeah, we're making quick way of all the enemies uh, here. And of course, if we do not find it, then we know we have to look at another location within the Great Forest. And if we do uh, become uh, full, we can always just go back to the forest entrance and unload. But I'm hoping <laughs> we can find it before then. Before going down. No, no, I'm not going down. I did mention, I think the pelt is going to be on the surface. And we are almost there. We might as well just finish it up. Wait. Ebony pelt. It's the boss, isn't it? That's why we didn't get an item. Because the item was quest related and we didn't open the quest just yet. Oh, sneaky, sneaky game. <laughs> ah, but I got you. Okay, let's uh, head over to a fast travel spot. And then we can go directly for it. Hogan's treasure received. So at least we got one thing here. So checking out the force was not a waste of time. All right. Well, I don't want to go back without the fur as well. Uh, to be honest, having last time, I don't think uh, I've uh, told you guys this yet, uh, we opened up the pawn shop. So in between the episode, I went and checked about what we could specifically get for all those items we had. And I decided that every item I had above 30 pieces, I sold to the pawn broker. Mainly because we need money. And the pawn broker is the perfect location in order to do that. <clears throat> and because of that, I don't know if we can look at that right here. Well, I made sure we had above 3000 Bakwa. So if we get the resources in order to make the pickaxe and the traps, we can now afford to get it. So that's a good thing. All right. Hellhound Lake. And the thing is, technically, we are not stronger. <laughs> but I think we should be able to do this. 
Okay, let's do critical hit rate. Damn, we killed it. I, I don't mean by a little, I mean by a lot. It felt like it was a lot easier this time, to be honest. Even if I did uh, combo a lot better. Okay. Just here for some extra money. Because let's be honest, money is never a thing we will not need. Ah yes, and of course, our new double jump. Okay, there's one more thing I want to do here while we're here. I want to test out the fishing. I want to see how the mini game works here. If it's going to be enjoyable or not. Because if it isn't, I will probably skip it for the most part. Unless it's just needed for things we need to create. But if it's really fun, I'm going to do it a lot between the episodes. Okay, I can do that. That's not too bad. You just need to have all the buttons of your controller in your mind. And most of the time, I've got that. Okay, we're going to do that three times. So, with enough fish to, to create uh, the things we need. Okay. Okay, so... I did not do that on purpose, I actually mispressed that. So it doesn't make you do it all over, it just gives you a little bit of a, let us say, penalty time. Where it's, it looks like you could only have one mistake and still be able to do it. Yeah, so if you just take your time, it's more than fine. It doesn't say what kind of fish, does it? No, not stove pack resource. Okay, so it's just a general fish. So what does it say when you get like a higher level tier fish? Does it does say big fish, small fish, royal fish? I'm so curious. <laughs> All right, at least we got it right now. We have four, I'm gonna do it one more time. So there will be a few more things we can make uh, back at town. Yeah, if you just take your time, it's more than easy enough. I'm pretty sure at the other fishing spots, because I'm pretty sure this is not going to be the only one, it's going to get harder, isn't it? And maybe that's how we can get more resources. Alright, let's uh, head back to the entrance and then back to town. Mm, yeah, let's do the plaza first. <laughs> I'm back. I <laughs> got what you asked for. Whoa, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> yes, yes. This should be enough to get the stuff made. Get it made? Oh, <laughs> never mind. Here, have a stamp. So, is this potentially another shop in the making? Hmm. Wow, a thousand experience is really nice. Okay, so this is what I want to look at. Three fishes for baked fish with herbs. Wow. <laughs> uh, meat, salad. Now we can make this. I'm not going to do the baked fish just yet. Because I want to see um, what other things we can do with that. And I still don't know if this defense increase is temporarily or permanently. I have to check the tutorials to read it over once again. Because I thought it was just temporarily that if you go to sleep in your own house, then the increase will be gone. But if that's the case, 
wouldn't there be more of an indicator next to your stats that you had that increase? Like I said, I'm a bit unsure, but uh, unless people that are watching right now know about it, please write in the comments or else in between the episodes I will check the tutorials and if I have a definitive answer, I would let you all know. Sandwich wheat, okay, and mushroom soup. Because if the case is that it's permanent, then it would be very interesting to grind out different resources like the save, recap, the sold and other stuff and just pump yourself full of the stuff. Hmm. Achievement unlocked. Okay, what's the achievement? A foodie? Oh, first time fishing? You probably unlocked that before. And use town facilities for 10 times. Oh, there's gonna be a lot more by the end of this game. Mm, yes. Damn, there's gonna be so many stores right now that it's gonna be really hard to keep up what we uh, have done, haven't done. All right, so this is the one I wanted to uh, look into. And that's why I didn't spend it in the tavern just yet. Because this way we can fish for more fish with potentially higher grade resources too. Alright. We should make one more, right? That's so that Guru has two as well. I don't know which one I want. A higher number? No. I want this one, but for the to have that, I need to unlock the traps first. We need ore <laughs> to get the traps. Oh, we're gonna do that after we went to the quarry. I found your stuff, Hogan. Ah, I can't thank you enough, CJ. Now I can finally get those shop doors open. I think you might uh, just be interested in one or two things I've got. So swing by when you can. Sure. Well, I'm more interested in the fact that you said that if I had a full stamp card, I would get stuff for you. The trading post is preparing to open. The trading post. Trade your wares for whatever Hogan has in stock at this trading post. You can also exchange stamps for rewards. Where can I... Oh, stamp earned. So it's not a fixed reward. We can choose what we're going to use it for. And I find it very disconcerting that it says 160 stamps. That's a lot of stamps. Can you imagine if we can get every single one of these things? That's a shit ton of stamps. But in all honesty, uh, like the uh, ore thing, uh, the crystals, the meat, the bronze, I would never use my stamps for that. If I can grind it, I will grind it. I will not spend my stamps on that. On the other hand, a thing like this, like a golden plate. Things that look very unique, that would be um, very useful. Especially this, ensures all attacks are critical hits. That's game breaking. Allows you to perform unlimited link attacks. So I'm guessing we're not going to be able to get all of these in the first playthrough. So we have to uh, decide which one we're going to get. All right, so this is going to be something for way later on. <clears throat> All right. So the only thing we have left are things in the quarry. So I want to go by the plaza before we go. Just to check the board if there are any quests I might have missed. 
All right, I think we're ready. Let's go to the quarry. Hey, CJ, I heard from Gakto that you're looking for that Malore girl, right? <laughs> well, I agree to keep an eye out while I'm treasure hunting, sure. Well, you'll be treasure hunting somewhere pretty dangerous then. She's on the other side of a blockade a fair bit down. There's a bit of a trick to opening it up though. There should be a lever around the blockade somewhere. Make sure to give it a good push. <laughs> a good push, okay, got it. See you when I get back. Damn those monsters, shooting rock at me if I only had a big sword enough to send them right back. Well, or you just jump over them like a good uh, adventurer. Alright. In all honesty, the thing I want more here are the resources I can get. Malor, at this point, is nothing but a secondary objective. I know this sounds bad, but it's true. Uh, rock return. Gru's great sword is great enough to send projectiles back where they came from. Rocks and other projectiles which are marked can be sent back with a well-timed strike. Shoot! Ah, oh, crap! You need to push twice, one to switch and one to hit. Well, I might as well kill him before doing that. Alright, we got more ore. Good! We need loads of that. Yeah, why hit it back if I can just avoid it? Avoiding would be a lot faster, isn't it? Unless it gives us a higher chance of getting an item, then... Then I would do it. Oh crap. Now it's really hard to use parry when you're switching targets. Yeah, I really still need to get a hang of that. Alright. New location, open up. Healing potion level 1. And of course, another crystal we cannot beat just yet. <laughs> and looking at the enemy behind it, level 24, it's gonna take some time before we're gonna get it, isn't it? I don't mind. Block off what you can block off, but that does give me a direction where to explore. So technically not necessarily a bad thing. And so much ore to get. Now I see why we would want to switch uh, to Guru here. Because I can jump over one, but with two it might become problematic. Ah, that's better. Yeah, I, I think I'm a little bit uh, too fixated on using CJ because she's so fast, which is really, really nice. Oh, so close. Can I make it? Oh, it's really close. Maybe we need the third jump. Shattering shields. Bosses aren't the only enemies with shields. If you find yourself up against a shielded enemy, keep in mind that Guru's Great X packs a particularly powerful punch. I still need to find that timing for the parry. Uh, Glow's room and ember crystals. 
and the ember crystals. I think we needed those for the accessories, didn't we? So, so we could just jump over the enemy, but why would we want to do that? Alright, we do need a signpost. I think it's been quite some time since we uh, had one of those. And if we do, I might go back to the entrance just to uh, unload uh, all the resources we've gathered. Ah, oh, perfectly done, Gru. Nice. Yeah, and that's how we learn. to use our skills to the best of our abilities. Okay, so it looks like the switch is gonna be on the other side to open it up. Or somewhere completely different in the level. Oh, that, that one is definitely not avoidable, so we need Guru from the start. So, switches doesn't necessarily mean that they need to be at the same uh, location of where the door is. So how do we get up there? Why do we get a feeling that we're gonna get a triple jump as well? Oh, I want that chest. Come on, grab on with your axe. Oh well. We'll get it eventually, but there's going to be so much more exploring here. Yeah, I really need to practice with uh, the parries. Once I do master it, I will show it off to all of you as much as I can. Oh, we're full already. Come on, give me a signpost. Pioneer's Pendant Received, which is definitely sounds like an accessory. Alright, alright. You twist my uh, hand on this one. <laughs> oh, that's all the way up there, nice. There, there's definitely no signpost in here, is there? Hmm. You know what? I'm gonna go back to the entrance, unload, and meet you back inside at the door with a little bit more room in my uh, resource pack, because I do not want to waste any opportunity. So, see you in a little bit. Alright, and we're back at the door, and I had to say, I did my utmost to try and avoid picking up resources, but as you can see, we have already picked up 25 along the way. Like I said, Another reason why we want to increase that at some point. There she is, that's her. You will terrorize this town no longer. My aim is straight and true. Magical lyrical missile. Again? What is this girl's problem? Stay back, scoundrels. You've come to face to face with New Neve's very own guardian, Peacekeeper. Guided by the runes, holy light, it is I, once again, Malor, ardent defender of love and justice. I don't know who you think you're talking to, but we're just a couple of adventurers. Uh, you won't lie your way out of this. That vicious visage, the smell of bloodlust. Bandits, both of you. I know a bandit when I see one. Or smell one. 
You're gonna let her talk about you like that? She's clearly talking about you. Malor, please, hear us out. I'm a scavenger. I wouldn't dream of thieving from anyone who's alive and kicking. Prove it. Excuse me? If you really are an ordinary adventurer, then prove it. What kind of proof would you like exactly? Oh, wait, I know. This, here, stamp card. The stamp card? Huh, you're gonna get us killed. Here, an explorer's license, signed and sealed by the acting mayor. Oh my, <laughs> this stamp card is the genuine article. You are adventurous after all. <laughs> this is actually very cool, because... It's not the license that Guru presented, but the stamp card that CJ does. Meaning, CJ was right. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. Phew. <laughs> and Guru's like, oh my freaking lord, why? <laughs> oh, how odd. I'm usually not wrong. I was so sure those lens bandits would show up today. Lens bandits? <laughs> yes. You've seen them, right? On the outskirts of town? Lots of lenses in the barrows. The bandits are obsessed with them. Plenty of ore and artifacts down here, but they only have eyes for the lenses. And what made you so sure they become here today? Oh, a few days back, a huge raw lens was discovered alongside an equally huge load column. Really? Oh, this better not be a joke, little girl. I wouldn't joke about something like that. That's why I thought they'd be here. We have to get it, right now. <laughs> Guru, j just hold on for a minute. <laughs> Wait, we were told to take this kid back to town. For all we know, she might have smashed that lens up when she attacked us yesterday. Ah, right. Malor, we're not here for lenses. We're here to bring you back to town. Got those orders. That's right, everyone's worried about you, so come along, okay? No. No? He's mad at uh, me for breaking the bulwark, isn't he? Oh, now she cares about the bulwark. No, no one's mad. The hole's already fixed, so everything's fine, come on. No. A real magical girl wouldn't run away after making a mess. A real magical girl would make it right. Nah, that's not right. Don't sound like a magical girl I know. Not at all. Not at all? Have you gone mad? Shut up. I mean, shut it. <laughs> not that it'd be too aggressive against CJ. Look, even a magical girl is gonna make mistakes. But mistakes aren't all bad. As long as you learn from them. If you mess up, take a step back, cool off and think about what you could have done better. Talk it over with mates or your folks. That's how you grow, ain't it? That's the right way to be a magical girl, am I wrong? No, <laughs> I was wrong. Well then, how about we get you home? <laughs> okay. So easily manipulated. <laughs> How'd you do that? Like I said, by manipulation and nothing else. Alright, instead of going back into uh, the quarry, I think it would be wise to go back to town and hand her over uh, to Gokto. So where would he be? Probably at the plaza. The mayor's house, then? Ah, report to Gokto on Outer Lender Lane. Alright. Gokto, someone's here to see you. Well, well, well. Hmm, sorry to trouble you both. Here's your stamp. Well, Melor, anything you'd like to say? I'm sorry. 
I'll take a step back and cool off and talk with my mates and folks about what I did wrong. Hmm, listen to this. What's got you so modest all of a sudden? You sure you got it right, uh, girl? Pretty sure. Well, I'm not complaining. You're gonna stay out of trouble from now on, right? <laughs> right. Hmm, and I think our friends here deserve an extra apology. They helped clean up your mess at the bulwark yesterday. You did? <laughs> no trouble at all. We best be getting back though. That's right, lots to do. Well, we won't hold you up any longer. Besides, we've got to apologize to the actor, acting mayor too. Isn't that right, Malor? <laughs> right. Uh, so we taught her a valuable lesson about being courteous. <laughs> and we're off. Alright, let's get back in there and find that load golem. Yeah. About that, I think we're gonna do that next time. For now, I want to complete the quest we still have open. Stamp received. And another quest cleared. <laughs> Defeat the load golem. Oh, we definitely will do that. So for now... Let's head over to 2nd Street. Okay, there's still one thing we can complete here, if I'm right. Oh no, the guy was uh, on the outskirts of town. Yes, I remember. It's the Weapon Master. Or something like that. I think I got everything you asked for. Hmm, impressive. You did better than I expected. There could be the baking of a soldier in you yet. Make with the stamp and I'll be soldiering out of here, okay? <laughs> oh, that's right. You want the stamp? Well, here you are. I'll be calling on you again, Private. Nice, that's 20. Okay. So, the only thing we have to do is to go to the Golem. And that's the only quest we have open right now, if I'm right. Yes. So I think for next time, we're gonna go through the town once again, check the board, see if there is anyone else with quests that they need us to do. Because if so, we can do them at the same time as we hunt down the load golem. And of course, uh, we can also just uh, try to run towards the place where we found uh, Malor and hopefully around that place we will find a signpost because compared to the Great Forest where there is loads of signposts we haven't seen a single one in the quarry meaning we need to travel a long place a long time in order to get somewhere and the downside to that is that uh, our bags will full up, fill up before we get there and I'm a person I don't like throwing stuff away if I collected them I want to keep them <laughs> So yeah, so that's gonna be a thing. So, like I said, next time we're gonna go back to the quarry, talk to everybody in town to see if there are any more quests. But mainly, we're going after that load golem. We're gonna kill it and take those lances for ourselves. So that's gonna be next time. Until then, I wish you all a great night, morning, day, wherever you are. And if you're still here, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, and be back next time as we hunt down the golem. Bye-bye.